caddy Dave McNeely has worked with some of the game's great players and is currently paired with one of golf's hottest young properties, four-time European Tour winner Matt Wallace. The pair are an intriguing combination of seasoned campaigner and precocious talent, and the Irishman has been shedding some light on the secret to their winning partnership. I suppose he relies on my experience, you know, so... But there's not much ego with Matt, and that's a good thing. It doesn't hold him back, so he's always prepared to learn, he's always prepared to listen. He kind of sifts out, you know, what's good, what's bad for Matt Wallace, and he listens to some of the things that I've got to say. Unfortunately, you know, some of those things that I've had to say to him that have worked in, in his favour. I mean, I'm more kind of just focusing on the facts and figures and uh, how things are playing. Uh, and, I mean, I want to win. Nobody's going to try harder than Matt, so I've got a great player in that respect. Somebody who just, I know he's going to give it 100%, and um, he loves it, you know, he thrives in that, so yeah, I'll let him go ahead and just do his thing and make sure that I'm just doing my part as well as I can. Their most recent success came in Denmark last month. Wallace won in a playoff following a remarkable run of seven birdies in the last eight holes. It was just doing 100% in each shot. And that was it. Trying not to sort of think outside of it, not just thinking of Ryder Cup or anything, you know, but just each shot, being very focused on it. This is what we're trying to do, and really 100% focus on it. So it wasn't, you know, like, oh, we can win the tournament or anything. It was just 100% on each shot. And as it transpired, as it evolved, you know, that chance then came to win the tournament. And uh, eventually he prevailed, you know. So, I mean, it's a tremendous performance. You know, he had his back to the wall with. Uh, you know, six holes to go, it looked as though we had no chance and he just fought his way back. Wallace continued his impressive form in the playoff with a performance that made him a serious contender for a place in Thomas Bjorn's Ryder Cup team. Well, it was kind of relative to um, what had happened before, so it's all relative. Like one time we had 128 yards. It was that type of wedge, now we've got 125. Well, okay, it's now that type of wedge, you know, because you are that precise. So that's really how it worked. So it was kind of more just uh, facts and figures and, you know, feedback from what had happened before. And then we just operated like that. So yeah, and worked out great. I always like to work for somebody who's going to be compete and contend. Winning is always a bit of a, you never really know if you're going to win or not, you know. It's a bit of a lottery once it comes down, does the putts, do the putts drop? So fortunately the putts have been dropping, you know, Matt's been knocking them in. So it's nice to work for somebody who's, who wins and he is a winner. Matt's extremely competitive. It's one of the reasons why he is such a successful golfer is because of his willingness to learn. So consequently, He's not always going to take what I, I, what I say as, as verbatim. He's always going to discuss it. And even I then can learn from that to say, OK, yeah, I can say things in a different way, which will you know, be clear in his mind. So much of a successful golf is, is clear communication between the player and the caddy. You know, so if, that, if the caddy's doing his job really well, he kind of paints a picture that the golfer can then see and then once he sees that, that picture clearly, he can then perform. Certainly Matt is that way, you know, so if he gets a clear picture, he will perform every single time. McNeely is one of the tour's most familiar faces after his time spent on the bag for Nick Faldo, Podrick Harrington and Nick Price. The key to his longevity is his adaptability, as he's proven again in his time alongside Matt Wallace. With Matt, because he's a very intense player, I need to be really sure that I'm, you know, really on the case and uh, have everything covered that he needs. I tend, maybe in players with the past, being a little bit more relaxed or whatever, you know. With Matt, yeah, it's more real hands-on. It's like, let's uh, get down to the nitty-gritty here and make sure we can have our fun afterwards. But uh, on the golf course, it's business. 